Bartolome, the ground was broken today on the $6.5 million renovations at the Ishpeming Armory. Local 3's Ivy Shank has the details. State Senator Ed McBroom was among the people with their hand on a golden shovel as military leaders and contractors shared highlights of the project. The main cause for the renovations is to improve the accommodations for women stationed at the facility. First built in 1961, it was originally only planned to accommodate male service members. As women began serving in the military, the building was adapted to have restrooms and showers for women. But without a significant overhaul, the armory could only offer the bare minimum. I've already had two kids, so I didn't have this luxury of the lactation room, and I really wish I would have. Before, in our previous restroom, we only had one shower get extremely overcrowded in there and now we'll have five individual showers so it definitely makes it feel more of um, that there's more equality. But showers and a lactation room aren't the only renovations. A new stairwell and elevator is going in as well. Senator McBroom says he's been pushing for improving armories in the Upper Peninsula for a while. I was very involved in the last 10 years with various tours um, and advocating for a number of facilities to stay open and keep them, such as this one. In general, there, many of them are very run down. And you hear on the tour today just how the bathrooms and such were in poor condition, the weight rooms in poor condition. Um, and so, getting an elevator in the building, being able to move freight around, all of these things are really important to updates that all of our buildings need and it's something that I, along with a lot of my colleagues, have been working on for a long time. Lieutenant Colonel Lonzi, a real property specialist with the state, made a point to tell us that the true objective of all these renovations is to make it more possible for every member in the service to get work done. Yeah, the most important part for us is all about readiness. It's all about soldiers coming in, training, and not having distractions of work. I can't shower. You know, there's not enough bathrooms. This is putting uh, our money where our mouth is. That we are, uh, we are an open organization, right? So male, females, uh, there's no disqualifiers, right? And our facilities match that. The project is expected to be complete in February and is just one of 33 bases across the state getting similar upgrades. The final price tag for the state for all projects is estimated to be about $132 million. It may sound like a lot, but McBroom and Lonzi both say more can be done if there's money for it. As I toured this, I was actually a little surprised that some of the facilities aren't a little bit larger, that there aren't a few more stalls, and that the, uh, the rooms aren't a little bit bigger. It doesn't take much to look around and see there's other things that we could do to continually improve and, and make these facilities as modern as possible. It takes time, it takes money, it takes advocacy. There's a lot of facilities in the state. There's a lot of you know upgrades needed. And if the money's not there, we can't do it. You know, we, we, we just can't do that. Other than we, we, we hit the, the force protection stuff. You know, we hit the, the absolutely necessary things to be regulatory. Uh, but what we're doing now isn't regulatory. This is, this is, this, you know, this is on behalf of the state taking care of our soldiers, which is awesome. In Ishpeming, I'm Ivy Shank, Local 3 News.